Bob, normally you talk about making shots, but this point is defense and not giving them shots is your biggest issue. Hard to guard them at the foul line. It's hard to guard them at the foul line. Final stat sheet. What was the the spirit? They shot thirty six. Twenty eight. We shot. We were four for six the first half. They were fifteen for eighteen. First half. So were you guys fouling too much, or was I know you can't talk about the other aspect of what would cause that, but. Is it you blame your own guys? Uh, well, you know, that, that, that thing on the scoreboard, you can look at it. You saw it as much as I saw it, so you know what the answer to that is. Neil said on that last shot that you guys took that that was originally said for Javon, but you got double teamed. Javon didn't get double teamed. It was for Sags. It wasn't for Javon. It was for Sags. We were going to throw it close. But we were going to do that for four and a half minutes and didn't do it. Anything else? Bob, let's go at 52 in the second half. Huh? I assume you can't be very happy with the defense during that period. Yeah, I mean, honestly, Bob, they made shots. What we didn't do was, was, was get rebounds when we needed to get rebounds. I mean, there were, there were, there were a bunch of of run stoppers. You know what I'm saying? A bunch of run stoppers. Um, what, as you say, they made shots, a lot of more open shots. Yeah, they made some hard ones, too. They made some hard ones. Well, the last one, you got them the three and got them the lead. Obviously, the offensive rebounder, your lack of rebounding was part of that. What did you see on that? Just a scramble that they came up with? Well, you got to go get it. I mean, you got to go get it. Um, I mean, the one before JC blocks a guy out, they called a foul, which would have given us the ball back. And then this one, we don't, we don't rebound. We bat it around a little bit, but we don't rebound it. Bob, I know that the Big 12 championship regular season was still in, in uh, reach. But how devastating is a loss like this? In your Depends on what happens on Monday and then the Saturday after that. So today was just another day? No, it wasn't just another day. It was never just another day. I don't, I don't lie to you guys. I mean, I told you they didn't practice very well. I didn't lie about it. We didn't practice very well. I was... I was very disappointed in, in our practice, which leads to we have a 52 points. We didn't guard the ball screen. We didn't do what we were supposed to do. We didn't run the sets that I called out of a timeout. Now, when we ran them, we scored. We didn't run them. Now, Oklahoma State did a good job of taking things away, but uh, – I'm 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 at a I'm at a loss to explain why you're allowed to have your hands on a cutter, but you're which is I mean it's freedom of movement. Why are you allowed to have your hands on a cutter, but you can't touch a guy with the ball? To me, it would it it it, it should be the same. I mean, freedom of movement's freedom of movement any way you any way you talk about it. Um, we'll have to figure it out. Coach, the final seconds. I mean, as fast as they went, did they double? JC, after he didn't bounce the ball, and then the ball was supposed to go to Sags, Justin. Okay. It was supposed to go to Sags. Is there an explanation why it didn't go there? Uh, Beetle kind of looked at JC. It was going. It was. It was going to go through the high post, and if JC cleared out of there, somebody else was going to flash in. We're just trying to play high low with Sags. And I don't know. I don't know if he thought the clock was running down to him. I don't know. We'd have to ask him. I don't. I don't know why. Why he took that shot? I have no idea. Just maybe. Maybe the clock was running down. I don't know. I was trying to look at other things to make sure we were. We were uh, 
getting people out of the way that we had to get out of the way to get sex the ball. This team has me a little bit perplexed. You know, you know what, Bob? We're good when we make shots. We're, we're not near as good when we don't make shots. They make shots. You need to give them credit. They made shots. We don't make shots. You know, we don't. When, when, you're, when you're constantly trying to run something to get a guy to a foul line or, or to get it, throw it two feet from the basket because you don't trust anybody to make a shot, it makes it hard. And, and, and everybody else, everybody else, we get so spread is what happens. But we get spread because they, they make shots and we know they're going to make shots and people don't, people don't, uh, people have begun to not, uh, uh, well, they don't think we're going to make shots so they, so they pack everything closer which makes it hard. And, and it's hard to get those people out whenever they don't respect a guy taking shots. But you look at our stats, and there's no wonder. I mean, we got guys jacking up threes that are shooting 20%, man. In the end, though, it's, uh, you have 51% of the game. You know, that, and 80-something percent on the free throw line. Still, you know, still couldn't find a way to get it out. Well, we didn't rebound it when we had to rebound it. I mean, in games like that, you got to rebound it, and they got some breaks. They got some breaks. Yeah. 